Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Altea from Hooked on Yarn. Today I will show you how to corner to corner crochet this Santa Claus dishcloth using this graph. So enjoy! For my dishcloth I used a 3mm hook, scissors, a needle and worsened yarn. If these dishcloths are not just for decoration, I recommend that you will use 100% cotton yarn. C to C is worked from one corner to another. The graph will be worked diagonally. A graph box represents one box in my dishcloth. The numbers will help you recognize which diagonal row you are working. I normally put arrows to recognize also which way it is being worked since I will be working across up and down. One box is worked as follows. You will make a slip knot, chain three, I will pinch the last chain worked and chain another three. Yarn over and double crochet in the pinch chain. This will be my first. Working down the next two chains by double crochet in each. This is how one box is worked, having four double crochets since the chains count as one. For row two, I will turn my box and chain three. Pinch, chain another three. and work down my chain. Stay facing down, go through the chain space, yarn over and pull through to make a slip stitch and the new box is pulled up. Chain 3 and in the same space do 3 more double crochets. For the third row, I will now turn my work, chain 3, pinch, chain another 3, and work down my chains. Look for the space, slip stitch, chain 3 and 3 double crochets in the same space.
slip stitch, chain under 3 and 3 double crochets in the same space. Mark your finished rows using arrows of the direction they were worked. And that is how we will start building our dishcloth. Each time you chain 6 at the beginning of a row, you are doing an increase. I have kept working the same steps until I reach the row where I will be joining the white yarn. Grab your colored yarn, insert the hook in the next chain space and this time instead of doing a slip stitch with the green, I will yarn over the white. Pull the green yarn to close my work, I drop it at the back. For the green at the bottom, I will have another ball in green or prepare a bobbin with the green yarn. Chain 3 in white and keep the yarn end in front of your work. We will hide this by working over it. I will work my first 5 boxes in white and will then add my new green bobbin. We will have two green strands, one working the top and the other working the bottom. Keeping the white yarn in the middle by making sure the hook is passed from underneath in order to hide it when stitching.
I can now cut the remaining white yarn and start on my next row going up. I will now carry the white yarn just a bit and keep it loose since it is skipping a box. Don't worry, we will hide it by working the hook underneath and stitching around it. The white is done and now we will pick up the green that we left for our top part. Pull the white yarn to bring the boxes tightly together and avoid large spaces. To carry the yarn, you must measure how this will have been worked to avoid the pattern shrinking because the yarn is too tight. I will carry the white up to work that one white box before the two green boxes. This will also avoid adding another bobbin. Also, since we then have to work two boxes in green, I can either add another green bobbin or place the green in front of my work and hide it whilst working the white to carry it forward. To work the green, I now have two white yarn strands to hide, which I will keep in front of my work. Pass my hook underneath and slip stitch using the new color. I will now continue working up carrying yarn as I go. Study your graph before changing any colors and before starting your project to see how many bobbins you will need.
I will continue working up changing colors and carrying yarn wherever needed. Next, I will show you how to start decreasing. I have worked my way up the 17th row, for the 18th I will now have to start decreasing. Decreasing is done by instead of chaining 6, I will now slip stitch 3 times at the beginning of a row. Then I will chain 3 and 3 double crochets in the same chain space and work my way down. I am currently working my last three green boxes according to my pattern. That's one. and three. I will now slip stitch as usual. Turn my work and slip stitch in each once again. I have worked my way up, decreasing as I go, and I am up to my last three boxes. I will slip stitch in each chain space
chain three, three double crochet, slip stitch in the chain space, turn my work and slip stitch through my last three chain spaces. To create a small loop to hang my dishcloth, I will chain 12 and make a slip stitch back at the beginning of the chains. I will now weave in any yarn I did not manage to hide whilst working. And here are my dishcloths to decorate my kitchen for this Christmas season. I will be linking the C2C graph patterns of these dishcloths in the description down below. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Well, until next time, bye guys!